Hello, my name is Dr. Beatriz Gomez Hanson. I work at the radiology department of San Paulo Hospital in Barcelona, and I've been here since 2006. Before that, I worked at the clinic hospital, and even before that in the UK at Queen Square, and I was consultant at the University Hospital of the University of Cambridge. We scan a large number of patients, about 14,000 um, MRIs per year. We're a busy department, and because I'm a neuroradiologist, we have, we have experience in patients with chronic pain, and uh, especially in patients having implants, both spinal cord stimulators and deep brain stimulators as well. In my opinion, MRI is critical in uh, patients with implants. This is due to the fact that these patients having chronic pain often have degenerative disc disease, fail back surgery syndrome, or chronic radiculopathy. And to assess disease progression, it's important to perform MRI. As well, these patients do have comorbidities, and because of this, we have to scan them with MRI. Now, the number of MRI scans has increased tremendously during the past decades. And for example, in the USA alone, in 2017, more than, I believe, 36 million scans were performed according to Statista.com. MRI is uh, the preferred image of a um, modality to look at the lumbar spine. And the American College of Radiology, for example, has advocated and uh, looked at the uh, advantage of using MRI versus CT. Of course, we could use CT, but CT uses ionizing radiation and the contrast resolution of the images is lower. And this is why we need MRI. As well, recent evidence by Desai and colleagues has shown that about 82% of patients with implants with spinal cord stimulators do need an MRI throughout the first five years after the implant. So in summary, MRI is an important imaging tool for patients having spinal cord stimulators. It refers to the conditions of the static magnetic field, the switch gradient field, and the radio frequency fields. However, it's a broad term and it's not as easy as it seems. Even if it says MRI condition full body, one has to look very carefully for the underlying conditions under which you're going to be doing an MRI scan of a particular area of the body in a patient. And because of this, it's crucial to look at the restrictions in each particular patient looking at the device that the patient has. A potential risk, according to literature and to the information provided by the manufacturers, is thermal injury. This may occur because radio frequency energy accumulates and goes through the lead and may dissipate at the end of the electrode which is in contact to, with the spinal cord and this may cause potentially spinal cord injury. Now a spinal cord injury we do know that it may cause um, permanent neurological damage and therefore it's a serious condition and this is why we have to be very careful when we scan patients with the spinal cord stimulators. It is very easy to perform MRIs in patients with the SureScan technology and spinal cord implants. The leads are shielded and because of this, energy dissipates along the entire length of the lead, therefore reducing the risk for thermal injury to the spinal cord. With the SureScan technology, it's easy to perform MRIs of the whole body in the normal operating mode. And this implies that we don't have to adjust the sequences for SIR values in the different magnets of the department or even in the same magnet for the different patients. Therefore, we can perform MRIs similarly to what we would do in non-implanted patients. Because of this, the running of the MRIs in the department is easier. 
Medtronic has a large variety of devices with a SureScan technology. This including six IPGs and four leads with different lengths. The battery does um, not have to be fully charged before performing the MRI and uh, we don't have to check beforehand the precise level of the tip of the electrode before going and proceeding with the MRI and this is a clear advantage. Also, we can perform MRIs according to the manufacturer if the lead is broken, a clear advantage as well. At the very end, um, which is also very important, eligibility of the patient for MRI is easy with the SureScan technology because all the information is written in the patient programmer.